Alright, welcome to the channel, and in this video, what we're going to be going over is five really great ways of making millions of dollars every single day, not just this week, but every week in Grand Theft Auto 5. But the first thing I want to go ahead and talk about is going to be these special cargo items right now, which this week are actually dishing out an extra 50%. And just to let you guys know too, there's always that, you know, that boost of income and uh, bonus money that you would be getting if you did this in a public session. But I don't necessarily like to sell my stuff in a public session. I run into griefers all the time. And then look at this, okay? So I got three special crates and those three special crates are worth what? $345,000? Okay, we're going to go ahead and sell those at this time. And that's like not very much. Like there was only like three special crates. How did I get those? Dude, all I do is I hire the people over there at my warehouse and they go out and find this stuff for me. I don't even have to deal with like, anything of that. So it looks like for here, we're going to have to make uh, some drops potentially for this one so we can end up getting paid. But you guys, I have five of these warehouse and I'm just going to be showing you guys a little bit of the payouts that I'm going to be getting here. Now, this is just something that I'd be doing every single day regardless in Grand Theft Auto potentially. I don't know why it just sucked me into my motorcycle clubhouse. Why am I delivering this to my motorcycle clubhouse? It's kind of weird. All right, you guys, check this out. Another business barely full at all all i do is i go up to these people right here like i just go to my warehouses i'm like hey you want to go get me some crates cool go get me some crates and they can get you either one two or three crates and they can get you those special crates right there that are worth a ton of money all right you guys so we're gonna do a couple of these i don't want to do like every single one even though i have like five of them they're not completely full. Earlier this week, I already made a video talking about how much money you can make off a full warehouse right now this week, which is like almost $5 million. No joke. And that's just off one of them. All right, guys. So you can see right there, just got paid more money. I'm not even keeping track at this time. We're just going over it. All right, look right here. 19 crates. 19 crates is worth $427,000. Wow, that's pretty good. And Okay, so yeah, 19 crates. We're going to go ahead and uh, sell that. And then we got the special crates down here. We're not going to forget about those because we have like the, uh, the extra 172000 down there. So this warehouse in general is going to be worth like uh, over $600,000 if I went back and I sold those special crates and stuff, which I like to hang on to the special crates and, and stack them up and then, you know, sell them uh, separate. But all right, you guys. Next thing that we're going to be doing is making sure that we're taking care of our nightclub. You guys, there's not a lot of money in the safe. So how are we going to get money in the safe? There's only one way of getting money in the safe, and that's by increasing our popularity, bringing in PCs into our nightclub. And then from there, uh, they're going to do their partying over here. They're going to spend the, their NPC money, and they're going to give it to us. And then we're going to go ahead and do a little bit of an exploit right here, which we're going to be making it to where we're going to get full popularity in a couple minutes by doing this exploit right here just by kicking people out, okay? So if you guys don't have any popularity whatsoever, this is what I'm going to suggest you guys do is just go over to your computer here as soon as I can... As soon as I can get on the computer here, I have to like register. Anyways, it won't let me. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and book a new DJ. Now, that's going to cost $10,000, but don't worry about that because automatically, immediately, we're going to be getting that $10,000 back and more ten thousands of dollars And then look right here. So it looks like this is ready to sell. But before we do this sell mission, uh, we need to take care of the popularity, making sure that the popularity is 100% full. So once again, if you guys don't have any popularity, just go ahead and you know request a new DJ to book. So we're going to book a new DJ. And by doing that, that's going to give us a little bit of, I would say, popularity. Let's get Big Bertha in here so she can tear up the nightclub. All right. So here we go. This is what we're going to do. We're going to exit the front door. We're going to go outside. We're going to do this in a matter of minutes, increasing our popularity. And every single time that we do this, we're going to be getting popularity, RP, and $10,000. You guys could literally just do this right here all day long if you wanted. Seriously, $10,000 in like, what, a minute? Yeah, $10,000 every minute in the game by doing this. All right, so I'm going to go outside. I'm going to deregister as a CEO president, and I'm going to go ahead and enter passive mode at this time. Took me a minute. All right, here we go. And then from here, you guys, we're just going to go into the garage area. And then we're going to go up the stairs. When we go up the stairs, Malk should hit us up on our phone. And he's like, hey, bro, we got problems. or some drunk dude in here harassing a bartender or something. 
So you guys can just pop open your map if you need to find the little blue blip and you can find out where exactly they are. For me, this dude right here, yeah, we're going to get rid of him. And then watch this. $10,000. There's my $10,000 back for booking the, uh, you know, the lady back there, whatever, the new DJ. And then we're just going to exit out the front door, run out here, run about around to the garage. And we're just going to keep doing this, okay? You should only have to do this probably like six or seven times and your popularity should be full. But it's important to have your popularity at full because why? That save can be making up to, if, it, if your popularity is full, $50,000 every 48 minutes. And that's like AFK just for you guys going around here and doing this stuff. Although once your guys' uh, popularity does increase, it can be a little bit, um, I don't know, troublesome trying to make your way through all those NPCs that are dancing. Just got another $10,000, bro. Popularity looks like it is full. So at this time, we're just going to go back here and we're going to be doing this cell mission. This cell missions is like something that I have to do. Uh, it's either every day and or every other day because my nightclub fills up so quick. And then you like you can't go back and do that guy because I'd have to go out the back and then come back in again or something like that. And then it'd just be a new location anyways. All right, so here we go. Looks like we're about to make ourselves even more money. And then hopefully by having the popularity completely full at my nightclub, I can go back there. And when I go back there, my safe will be full because I'm going to be doing an array of tons of other things. It's never just one thing in the game, you guys. And just to let you know, too, this is just a snowflake off of the iceberg of awesome things that we can be doing that are easy enough and have good payouts. Look at that right there, you guys. I don't know how much money we're at right now because um, I didn't show you those other two warehouses that I sold, and uh, but we're looking good, okay? And then once again, this is gonna be like an everyday grind. I'm making millions of dollars here and I'm not even cheating or doing anything like that, just showing you guys that we can be able to go ahead and get you know, to million dollar status in no time. All right, you guys, so the next thing that I want to go ahead and show you is potentially an Acid Lab exploit. So we got a spawn location that's going to be right by the casino for the Acid Lab. There's a lot of different spawn locations. And this is something that I've done uh, for many months now is taking the Acid Lab to so many different locations and try to do cell missions, even way out in Plato Bay. I thought that that would be really good out there, but it's not. It seems like uh, right by the casino, when I do a cell mission right over here, so I just go to this alley because right behind me, the Acid Lab is going to spawn. And potentially what you guys will end up getting here is probably in my experience like seven out of ten tries I'd say like maybe eight eight out of ten tries you're gonna be getting like the one cell mission right here at this location and this is why What's we're gonna up, be doing pal? this right here which is actually right by the freak Two shop anyway so if you just recently, go to the freak shop or you can just actually details. request it right here so I just actually went a little bit too far up in the alley uh, and it will just spawn right here which is pretty great because we can just go right here which is by the freak shop anyways whatever it's by the casino and once again if you guys are doing these cell missions in a public session you will be getting a bonus amount of money all right so first things first we're gonna make sure that the production of acid is uh it, it's at its uh, maximum capacity whatever you want to call it so we got to go to the dripper here all right i'm not gonna not gonna tell you what i'm doing but i'm doing some pretty scientific uh activities right now that involve um you know close with my one big eyeball watch out now all right so anyways not really sure what this does but it does increase the productivity of making acid and of course for me i just buy the you know the supplies i don't go out and do any of that stuff i never steal supplies because it costs money to make money in the game and i am just a busy bee over here going from business to business and i don't have time to steal supplies so we're gonna go ahead and run this and it can give you the one cell mission and something you guys might want to think about doing before this is what you see me do is calling up lester because you can actually use lester uh if you request a job from lester and you know and the cops come after you you can pop open your phone and you can use that lester invite whatever for that job and then you can just back out and then the cops should disappear which is uh, a way better method than trying to run away but unfortunately it looks like um yeah i ended up getting the paper the paper boy method of <laughs> Just running around so we just ended up getting it done real quick number 10 come on i missed all right there we go got it and then we're gonna have to drive away and then this is even more money right here and since i have full stock over there with like all my businesses just producing money for me every single day and a lot of what you guys see that i'm doing here is just literally sell missions other than that there's not much to it 
than just going out to your businesses, doing sell missions, and making millions of dollars. And this is once again something I'm doing every single week. And then also something I'm doing a little bit more this week, of course, would be uh, working up those CEO special crate warehouses. So last but not least, ladies and gentlemen, we're over here at the bunker. The bunker provides very good amounts of money. Once again, I am in an invite only, and we're just gonna go ahead and buy some supplies here because I said that earlier, I'd never steal supplies because of how much money that I have. I'm just gonna buy them for my businesses because it's always gonna be a profit no matter what on my part and this is what we're doing we're going from like businesses to businesses and once again this is just the tip of the iceberg on how many ways a person can be making millions of dollars this is literally just not even that much amount of time for me to do all this stuff okay. you guys and check this out too i got graced with two phantom wedges so we're going to be taking the best cell vehicles for the bunker uh, and we're just going to go ahead and deliver these bad boys real quick. And I should be getting somewhere towards like 800000 I'm not going for the public session because in my experience, it's probably just a little bit more productive getting cell missions done instead of like messing around potentially in a public session. And then, you know, someone coming and trying to blow up your stuff and then you're trying to save it and then you got to change sessions. That just becomes a big headache and a half. So with the grind right here, it's going to be good. Just a little bit that I've shown you that I've done today. Uh, and this isn't even, you know, part of the big spectrum of the scheme of what can be done in a full day of grind in Grand Theft Auto, making millions of dollars, you know. All right, here we go. So we got the bunker sold. We got the acid lab sold. We got all, all the other stuff sold, the nightclub, the special warehouses. So we're looking pretty good here on money. And you guys, this is all legit money. I didn't cheat whatsoever. I didn't duplicate any cars. I didn't freeze any any of my money or anything like that. And you can see with just by playing the game a little bit, it's not that hard to be making millions of dollars at this time. But anyways, from there, I just want to go ahead and show you guys uh, this video and show you that there are great ways of making millions of dollars in Grand Theft Auto 5. So if you enjoyed this video, let me know by leaving a comment down below if you guys want to see more making money videos just like this of awesome ways that you guys can be making money and ranking up in Grand Theft Auto 5. Would love to show you those. So anyways, from there, if you guys enjoyed the video and it was helpful, hit like button on the way out, subscribe for new content, leave a comment, let me know what's going on. Uh, but anyways, thanks for watching. My name is Graveset and I will see you in the next one. So peace.